last time on Telltale's Game of Thrones. Uh, I will decide. Send him to the wall. Shake his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. But perhaps I can give him justice. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. I Not understand. just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. Yeah, but a too. sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. Yeah. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. Let me How do guess. I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The badge of office. Oh, this is going to be a damn near Tonight impossible choice. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your of... sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. See, part of the issue is <laughs> we have one guy who's like the devil on our shoulder, one guy who's like whatever, like an angel. And they both have strengths. Like sometimes you want to show your uh, power. Sometimes you need to be merciful. These guys are going to kind of waver on either side of that. And it's going to be tough to decide. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? He's probably holding them the back. The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. What do you mean the small we've folk? We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, oh, no. there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Yeah. Perhaps they can do more. Do that first. My lord. He seems like the most reasonable one, obviously. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. That's a good sign. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Let's what see what they say about Sir each Lord? other. Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not yeah. trust him. I'm with you there. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed. 
and at the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Oh, we could give it to him now. Interesting. I would have liked now, to ask I him those other hurry, questions, get too. That sword out. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Where are you going? But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here. That I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a <laughs> nightmare made real. I can imagine. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Oh, interesting. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why do you trust Why him? Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Yeah, see, that's the argument. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not for the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Thank God. Somebody I can wholly trust. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please, tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. She's a good sister. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Hmm. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. 
That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Ryland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Yes, my lord? I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. Well, well, hold I up. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. Yeah, I'm he aware, but... He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to This you. guy's just manipulative. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. You don't say much, do you, lad? That's good. Reminds me of your brother Asher. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Yeah. I just, I just don't trust him. Like, that's. I just don't trust him. I'm not supposed to say. You got to go with your gut. I thought I saw my little brother over here. Yeah, let's talk to him. Oh. <laughs> it's a sword that says Ethan on it. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. <laughs> I carved this to give me strength. Oh. And this... So I remember. I mean, Damn. I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. It's a tough one. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. <laughs> I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Yeah, that's what you want. You want a guy who calls his people worthless. That's really great. Are you holding a- Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? Let's hear what it. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ra yeah, ransom. ransom or a robbery. We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Do they, though? I think fears of tomorrow shows a forward-thinking person. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel?
Um, not yet. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. I want to see what's up in the tower. This might cause us to name the sentinel anyways, and we'll see. Perhaps this can just give us a perspective. Do it like you mean it! Yeah, that's all it's doing. I'm ready. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I what will convene the small council at once. I'm worried that that guy's gonna throw a scene. Sit. The question is, how do we want to lead this I believe Lord group? Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. I Let understand. him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. It's about, like... How do we want to run this kingdom right now? It's... Do we want to rule with an iron fist? It certainly has its merits, and especially in this time, we could see how that would be the right thing to do, but... I just feel like... I just... I just don't trust him. How, like, I can't trust him. Can we talk to... No, we can't. Duncan, it's yours. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... This is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer oh. with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You'd gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. It'd we be sending lambs to the approach. slaughter. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. It's true. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. What do you think, Mother? Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. Really? It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Oh, I don't like that either. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. 
I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. Whew. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. I can almost guarantee he's gonna have swords Forgive ready us, anyways. Lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as no. we can muster. <laughs> Make him wait. It's not listening at all. gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Hmm. It's tough because if he waits at the gate... And we say, okay, fine, let him in. It could show that... It could show that we are... Like, that people are listening and that we have the respect of our people. But it could anger him too and then it'll make him less open to negotiations. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready Whoa. to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. Oh, what a dick. Like, the thing is, he might be... Who knows? Who knows? Might be right. I don't know. But nobody can predict the future. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our Ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. I absolutely think he should come back. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? I don't think so. Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher yeah. is volatile. But that is his strength too. I Do believe that. Do you remember that. the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy <laughs> by the neck. That was his first instinct. Protects us. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. I agree with that. It's good to have you somebody have like that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. She's right. Like, we need the balance. If somebody attacks, we have to be able to defend. Like somebody said earlier, you can't I'm use... Trying to do what's best you for can't be family. smart if you don't have a head what on your this shoulders. Family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Send him. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Be safe. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. 
You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. 